What's up guys, it's J Division here and we're going to do a in-depth look at the strats and how I particularly built this mall, Gulf Gate Mall, the first mall in Houston. I'm going to show you basically like I did in Big Town, the steps I took, you know, when I built the mall and how I did it and how I sectioned it off and my little thoughts and look backs at it and all that stuff. And unlike Big Town Mall, this was a mall that I actually went inside. Now, share that, my experience with the mall in the 90s when it was in a sad, dilapidated state. I'll kind of give you an idea on that and we'll see, you know, how it kind of transfers to this build you see here. And uh, so let's get on with the tour here and make sure to like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you like malls if you like old school architecture you know this is a very niche kind of channel if you want to just see something you never thought about like the first mall in uh you know lexington kentucky or something random like that then yeah just hit the subscribe button and uh you'll see a little surprises that this channel has uh to give and first let's go talk about my experience with this place so when i was a kid every sunday every sunday we would drive actually let me let me paint the view there is a major highway right here and we would kind of drive while we while on our way to church we would drive down the highway going here and going down this highway you would see the building at this exact angle now this building you know was made in the 50s the first mall in Houston. So seeing a building like this in the 90s was crazy because it's just nothing you've ever seen before. I mean, in the 90s, architecture was generally kind of similar to now, how buildings are kind of bigger, you know, boxy, big, um, kind of square. This was a very flat looking building. It was flat and it had stores, as you can see right there in the front which is something you never see in malls anymore. Malls are usually all the stores are inside, but this one has stores inside and then also outside. So seeing a building like this was very strange and it was in a very sad, dilapidated state. I remember passing by the highway, you know, and just looking at it and just thinking, as, as a kid who only cared about kids stuff, seeing this building and thinking, wow, they, this place, this place needs to be torn down and eventually it was. And then actually on top of that, I've actually, we go, we actually been to this mall. So as a kid, I, I do remember walking into the mall. I was told that I, we used to go there a lot and we used to go to the buffet place, which is behind, there was a buffet place. I think it was Piccadilly's cafeteria and we would go there a lot. So I actually been inside this mall like big time mall, I actually been inside this place. So there is a history with this place that I had, because I am from Houston. By the way, I was born in Houston, lived there for many years. So yeah, that's kind of my history. Yeah, it's just, you know, these 50s buildings, I built a lot of these kind of 50s buildings, and I'm going to build more 70s, 80s, because that's really my favorite architecture, peak architecture, really. Um, 50s and all that would be the 60s, and that will all kind of be this, you know, what comes after that but yeah so yeah let's go on with the tour of the mall and how i built it so this is where it started with this place this was i believe wj grants so i started with this building right here so i built the outside that's supposed to be the wj right there so i started with this little place let's go inside now as you see the interior is kind of you know, this is one of my first builds, so the interior, if I did this now, it wouldn't look quite like this. I would add just a bit more detail, but this is cool to see, kind of reference of how I, the detail has changed. Like this, the little, supposed to be clothing, but now that would just kind of be like mannequins and how I build now, it would be mostly mannequin and stuff. So yeah, this is just a little five a dime store, you know, just cheap goods and stuff like that, I like the wood flooring already had the ceiling like that on point so i built i built this first and then i went over here 
So basically I built it like, as you can see, I'll, I'll walk you through it, but basically all the way down and then I built the tip and then I went back to the middle and then went all the way down. And I, you'll see that in a second what I meant by that. And then I came through here and what I like to do when I was building, so I built that part right here and then I kept this open. So it's like a little prize. I like to build the interior like this, just the ground. And then when I finally finish it, I like to put a nice roof over it and really make it a mall, you know. So, and this is going to be the JJ Newberry. This is uh, the interior. I remember there was a style before this. I was building it. It looked way uglier. But I, I like the patterns that I use with this one. And yeah, so this is the interior of that. And then here was the cafeteria. I, I really like how this one came out, even though when you kind of look at it the style doesn't really make a lot of sense you know especially now that I you know built more department stores but it, it's again it's it's cool it's cool um, cool build you know it's kind of a beginning of what I do here on this channel let's go see the I remember the the big the front part of this was kind of confusing because I could barely see it because again I use a lot of Google images and photoing just archive photos to kind of figure out, you know, how to build the store and what it looked like. And that's JJ Newberry right there. And then basically I would build that. Then I would build the, the street right here. I remember that, building the street, planting the little plants right there in the bushes and trying to get that reflection game going with the Gulf Gate sign, Gulf Gate Mall, and then you mirror it over there, Gulf Gate Mall. And then the the palm. This was the first time I ever tried to make a palm tree, and I think it's pretty great. I think it's pretty great. Um, there it is right there. Yeah, I think it's a really cool de design. And the way I used to make cars back then, that was also the same in Big Town Mall. It's it kind of looked flat, but it's whatever. You know, they don't really look that detailed, but it's still cool. And then there was an upstairs area right here and I know it's a little flat at the on the top floor but that's because you know I didn't really plan it too well the size but it looks pretty good you know this is supposed to be the men's and the bottom was the woman's and then down here we have the offices and then a little secret right here yeah wow look at that nice nice very nice yeah so this is this was cool this is i think this is one of the first times i ever did like legit uh, mannequins and stuff so yeah that's the jj newberry the wj grant and let's go down to here now i saw photos that it was mainly the theme the color theme of the mall was orange uh later became like purple and like in the 80s and stuff like that just 80s and it had a bunch of like flags and banners all right, and here is one of the stores, the shoe store. Interesting to see how I, you know, kind of designed a shoe store. So that's the shoe store. And here's a bookstore, I believe. Very cool. I believe I saw a photo of this place, um, like a photo of what this store was. I don't, I forgot the name, but I kind of got a frame of reference. On how to design it, especially that that wood. That wood is really what the only frame reference I had. Now this is the Woolworth, and this is a very not so good looking store. Even at the time I was building, I was like, uh, now this is a stretch, but who cares? It's just a little store. So yeah, that's the Woolworth right there. Another interesting fact about this place, it was originally a outdoor mall, so there wasn't a roof later in the 60s, 67, 1967, they added a roof to the place. So, and I was also thinking about, should I make a version without a roof, but then it's like, that's, nah, I mean, if you, you can easily do that yeah, yourself if you want to download the mall, and the, for the download, the link will be in the description, so yeah, and here is another store, right there. And another store and I basically I just came down through here and just made stores and then 
so basically this whole haul I just made all these stores all right I went all the way down and then once I was finished then I added the roof and that truly made it kind of a mall hallway that's the literal cherry on top but not really but you get it you know and here is a place for eating uh, I believe an ice cream place I made it and the only store name that I kind of know out of the few that I do know is this was a baker's shoes right yeah this is a baker's shoes and this was a really cool design I like this one so I uh, came through here and I made that and all the little you know vendor places in the middle right there and then down here this is a restaurant I like this restaurant it's very tucked away feeling it's nice I like the calm colors and all that warm colors and stuff and then basically I feel like so I went through here so I went through on this side and then I went on this side but I didn't add a roof until like all the corners met if that makes sense so I basically, this is actually, see see how this one's designed? That was actually a photo. There's actually photos. I think the photo was taken like this that I was able to get these. So this is uh, probably one of the more realistic uh, storefronts. Because again, I use photos, but they don't, there's no, of course, there's no photos of like every angle of the store. So a lot of this, yeah, it's off the dome, baby. A lot is off the dome. So this is a jewelry store right here yeah I, I thought this was weird this design right here these two things coming down it really kind of cramps this style makes a little cramp but it's still great I like uh, I like uh, the storefront I like this design in the front and this supposed to be jewelry right there and this is a, I think a, yeah for kids this is like a daycare if you will okay and then this is a salon salon right here okay and then Come down here. This is a little nothing store. I remember this place. Like, why is there my iconic ceiling te texture for the floor? And then that, yeah, it's a it's an interesting little purgatory little storefront. And then here is a perfume place right there. And then uh, this is a uh, you know TVs. I uh, guess a couple of radios store right there. And then this is a really cool store. Right here, this is uh, very 60s because this was built in 56, but uh, I guess if you wanted the time frame this specific build, this is the 60s. And I like the color. This is one of the first time I ever used like a 60s color scheme and it kind of like, you see it right there. That uh, green, white, and orange, very 60s. And the interior is pretty cool. And there's the interior right there. Okay. So I basically came all the way down, built all that, filled the, I filled this. So all the stuff you see in the center area, I filled that after I did the roof because I love saving the roofs of malls for last. So I kind of built all that and then I came up here. Oh, okay. And this is the, this is the restaurant right here. So, okay, here, here's, here, here's how I did okay. And this is a pretty cool restaurant. I like this style. This was one I'm pretty proud of right there. So what I, so I did build it like that, but I forgot to mention, I also, so when I was building, let me give you an idea here. So I was building I, that direction, but I would also build like this. So I came through here, there, all the way on that side, all the way on this side, all the way back. So basically like a sweeping scan all the way back and then also the stores at the front as well and then of course as I was building I did the parking lot you know as I came through and finished the front I would finish the parking lot so and here's the some of the stores Let's zoom past these real quick and here's the, some of the stores that we're doing there's that one little bookstore there's that and then this is a Walgreens right here and then I did this place 
Okay, and then, yeah, then basically that's that right there. So I did all that. And then after I finished that, I also did this over here. So as the same as I was doing over there, I went over here. Yeah, do was doing the parking lot, now do that. And then a lot of these are very, not so, very actually are empty are very empty. I just kind of built little storefronts right there. Uh, and I did those. So that was obviously really quick to do right there. So I did that, you know, added the little, you know, units on the roof. Okay. And uh, the fountain, I actually had to learn how to do a, a, this was before I even knew how to make a fountain. So it's really easy. You just put you just put um, a bucket of water on top. Not so hard. So after that, I went down here, finished. I remember trying to get this just right. Get that um, interior just right over there and get the, the lighting and all that stuff. So I came over here. And I did this, did the entrance, and then I didn't do the big Joskis right here, this store right here. I, I saved this one. This was the very last one because it was so big. And of course, I didn't mention it before, but I did in the other video. I do enjoy making the anchors the most, so I saved Joskis for dead last. And I came back through here. And, um, yeah, so I made this place I made that so I basically did that uh, sweep effect came all the way down here and this is the bank and then I came here and then this is where the grocery store is at the grocery store I forgot how to pronounce the name but I think it's called Winter Gardens or something like that. It's like a German name. So there is no entrance from the mall into the grocery store from what I saw in the blueprints of this mall, uh, which makes sense because you wouldn't want to bring grocery baskets and stuff like that into the mall. So here is the grocery store. And they had a cool sign right there on the roof so you can see it. It's very nice. And let's go inside. I like uh, I liked how this one turned out. The colors are one of some of my favorites of the builds I did, especially that uh, ceiling right there. So yeah, this is the grocery store. Then I did all the grocery store parts. I built all that. I built the exterior, and then I do the interior, and then I detail the exterior, and then I detail the interior. Alright, let's go to the side of this place. And then I built this. This is supposed to be where there was an underground tunnel. And there's an underground tunnel it's supposed to be right there. It's where the trucks would come and stock up the stores from underground because this place was built on a hill. It was built on a hill and so they were able to make a tunnel underneath. Okay, and here's, oh, yeah, so these don't have any any stores on the outside right here. I just kind of made them empty. All right, so let's go back inside. And actually, I feel like what I did on this one is instead of that side-to-side -side thing, on this one, I feel like I remember I built all of this, and then I came back on this side and then built it. So I just did this um, this section right there. Then I made that store, and then I came back because I remember building this because it was like it felt and it felt like a different phase. Because I feel like yeah I was done with that, and then I came back and started to actually fill. So I would build these. These would be empty. I wouldn't detail them. I would detail those. I detailed this side, but on this but this was empty because I. I that's just how I, that was just the, the method. Just do that, f finish that, and then come back around, okay. 
so here is the little stores right here and this one's cool i like this i like this part right here i built i like this little kind of design right there it's supposed to be neon when you see that and then the you know glass it's supposed to be neon all right and there's that part and there's a like a candle store right there and then here's the barbershop I guess this was the first barbershop I've ever done because this was before golf gate I mean go before big town mall this is golf gate so so I came through here uh, so I yeah so this was just empty I don't believe yeah so I I mean, yeah, I, I built the frame of Joski's. This is Joski's right here. I built the frame of that place, but I didn't fill it up. So I was just building right here. And my favorite store, my favorite storefront that I built, and this is a furniture place, but this is not my favorite. My favorite storefront that I built in this mall is actually right next to it, and it's right here. I like this one for some reason. Looks pretty cool. I like it. I like the colors, the gold and black. You go inside. Uh huh. All right. Okay. And then after that, I put the roof on it. So the roof was always last. I put the ceiling, whatever you want to call it, there. And then here's the Sakowitz right here. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Uh, and this is one of my favorite uh, builds right here on the mall. The my favorite parts I made. This is uh, just a walkway, but I just like it. It's really nice. I just like it, you know. That one's an uh, empty store, uh, but I like this walkway. This walkway is pretty, pretty neat. Now let's go see. I've made the Sakowitz right here. And I like the detail. This one is one of my favorite stores as well. It's very unique. I like, uh, I like the design, the modern design. I like how it goes down and then it stopped right here. And it, but it also jutted out, you know, from the break as you can see right there. I like that. Just really nice, tight design. Very simple. Very simple design. And right here, there was a carport at the entrance. Can you imagine that at a department store? Imagine like a Dillard's having a valet. Basic, not a carport, but uh, kind of a carport. But it was basically a valet. So this was a valet. You can just get your car, and they would park it for you, and you can go shop. And that's that's yeah, that was cool. I like yeah. This is my favorite. I'll say I'll say this is my favorite uh, department store that I built on this mall for sure, hundred percent, hundred percent. So I built this. Yeah, I basically I built the the this part first i built the big the big uh upper floor area first and i built the parking lot and when i was building sakowitz i didn't yet build the parking lot for this so i as you see right there i took away you know dig took some dirt and I made the Joskis as I was making the Joskis so this was all just one level when I was making the Sakowitz so let's go inside the the Sakowitz and see and this is one of my favorite most um, my favorite design I did of um, any of my builds I've ever made I just like how this came out just the colors and everything was perfect I remember saving this store I wanted to save some of the best even though the Joskis was the last and it's not my favorite at all and I'll explain that uh, later but I really this was this store was the best thing that came out of the entire building of this mall I think this is what I'm most proud of is the Sakowitz I really like how this came out I really like the the look the colors I like this is one of my favorite builds that I've ever done for sure this whole store and you know, you'll see that in a second here I just like the colors I just really you know I really wanted this to be a good looking store and I just kind of just build and just got influences from pictures 
This is not, I, I don't think there was ever a photo of what this store looked like, but there was a photo of what the main downtown area looked like, the main downtown store, and I kind of used a little bit of that to kind of get an idea of what it, the actual Gulf Gate Mall location looked like. So yeah, I just like how this jewelry department area looked out, just everything, the symmetry, the color, just looked really nice. This was the most uh, expensive store in all of the malls, so this, it really shows, you know, and I, uh, really proud of that so this is the shoe area right here and that's the clothing and this is all this is the women's section right here and there's a fitting room okay and then there's this area right here and this was the salon so I built uh, so I built this first and then I built the shoe area so the whole kind of way I just went that's what I built first and then I came directly through here and built the salon it's interesting that there's dirt here I guess I used to use dirt for design that's interesting uh, and then this was the salon the salon right here and then this was empty so I built the salon and then I made the escalators here, and then this is where the shoes, not, not the shoes, this is where the hats are, this is the hat section right here, so this is like a, this was kind of like a showroom, you know, it, you know how a lot of places where it's, you can just pick the hat up, there's a lot of showroom kind of designs that this uh, store had in the downtown area, so I assume basically like any upscale uh, clothing store this one had and I like the colors of this I like the black uh, ceiling I believe this room was actually um, designed by design inspired by the um, downtown Sakowitz over there so that's cool okay and here's a little fabric area and I went all the way down here and then here's a little, just a way, just a bar kind of hangout lounge area. And then here is the restaurant area. This was actually designed by design, taken from, uh, I believe, the um, downtown Sagowitz. This, the whole lot of trees like that. And then there was a statue in the middle. And then there was a um, stage for plays. You can have them watch plays and stuff like that. So. That's cool, right here. And there was this is the entrance outside, right there. And this was the one floor, and the other part was second floor. And I did I saved the second floor for last. The second floor is the men's, the men's area. Let's go see that, and that's gonna be where all the men's stuff is at. And then also did juniors, juniors, the children's children clothing, all that stuff. Okay, then you go upstairs, and then I started, uh, I feel like, okay, I built, uh, basically, I remember I built uh, all this, I built the, you know, stairwell, uh, where the escalators go, and then I made this area, and I made that, and then I came back around, and I made this a little lounge area, because there, there was a window right here, so I just imagine it's for people who wanted to sit by the window. And here's the men's clothing right here. A lot of wood, a lot of suits, a lot of niceries and stuff like that. And here's just the fitting room area. And then over here is the shoe department. Right here. Shoe department. And then this is uh, craft goods and stuff, houseware stuff basically. And then here's the kids section. I use this color a lot to signify the kids section, the yellow and red. You're going to see... And the new mall that I'm making, you will see that there as well. So this is um, boys and girls, and this is just the toy, toy area. Toy, candy, all that stuff. And just the back rooms right there. So yeah, that's yeah, that's the entirety of the sack. I was really proud of how it came out. It was really one of my favorite builds that I've done in Minecraft. So let's go outside. So yeah, that's the sack of And then here is the last store, the Joskies. Joskies right here. So basically after I finished the Sackowitz, I 
made the Jaskis right here. I took some some ground level off because there was a bit of a like I said it was on a heel, so there's a there's a different dimensions on it. But unfortunately, this was one of the first times I figured out it having that kind of dimension to it in the ground in creative mode isn't really deep. And it turns out this was a three floor building. This was the biggest easily the biggest store of the mall and had three floors so I had to go into the ground and also by doing that it did it wasn't deep there wasn't a lot of you know uh, dirt to go down because after only it feels like about eight blocks you would just fall forever so the roof the interior kind of the roof is a little bit lower than I would like it to be I mean I was really planning for this to be a lot bigger so yeah, it went. It turned out pretty great. I I do like it, but it's definitely not what it could have been. I wish I had planned for it to be more of a basement level kind of store, so I could have had more room to make it look bigger, more expansive. You know, the ceiling. And yeah, I do like um, this way. I like this. Um, it's got a cool entrance right here. You know right there so that was cool and then also so basically this was just big and empty as I was building a lot of the mall and this was the final stop and this is another walkway right here I like this walkway this is nice right here and then there was this little roof part so yeah let's go in so I made the Joskis last Joskis I meant to say uh, and I believe see how kind of it's only like four blocks high it's usually I like to do five blocks high so it, it, it's kind of look feels a little cramped but it's still it's still pretty good so this was the toy section right here I did the toys first and then that was easy and I came back and then I did the bamboo room I saw in a newspaper article this this was called the bam the restaurant at this actual location was called the bamboo room so I designed it of course how you would imagine a bamboo room looking style um, a restaurant would uh, come across as and uh, yeah I really like this one it really came out pretty cool yeah I, I feel like I build my best when I'm confident on what it looked like um, a lot of times I have to make it up and maybe it's just a, a head thing maybe it looks just as good if I make it up but uh, when I get it when I really know what something looks like I kind of really you know do my best there and here's the furniture area furniture department lighting and here's the back rooms right there these are, these are supposed to be pay phones when you see like this stuff like that and here is the bedroom area this is where the bedding's at and all that and then go over here more bedding and then just a bunch of glassware stuff right there and then let's go up the escalator see this is where it became weird right here this is it I mean check this out I mean this is supposed to be a floor level kind of thing but I had to make do with you know at the last second understanding that there was three floors and the way it was built it was at an elevation so I had to literally like build it where every entrance from the ground floor has to have a stair so it was a flat entrance there was no stair but fortunately I was already too deep uh, too deep in the uh, the sauce if you will so there's it has to be a stair step to accommodate the roof you know the ceiling if you will so there's that and again this is a um, four see it's four high so it's a little little on the lower side but yeah, it's still good it still came out pretty good uh, so this is the men's section right here men's sporting goods uh, magazines and books jewelry women's jewelry men's jewelry I like this centerpiece. This is nice. This is a good shot right here. I like this shot. Uh, more jewelry. And this was the shoes, the shoe department. Yeah, so this was technically the first floor. And the, what we just saw was the basement level. Let's go to the second 
floor, and that will conclude the entire mall. And this is the women's section. The women's section is, I think it came up pretty good. It's my favorite part of this Joskis. Um, I like this there. There's a walkway right here. A runway. Put probably more plants than there actually were. And this is just clothing area. Clothing. Mannequins. Clothing. Let's see if we can find a back rooms. Is there are back rooms anywhere. Back rooms, there it is, okay. Back rooms, and this was uh, customer service on the second floor next to the girls department, very pink. Oh, back rooms, back rooms. What's back here? Ooh. Oh, the back rooms, hey. <laughs> All right, and that's the uh, girls department right there. And then you can walk over here and here's the boys department uh, that's just some stuff uh, the toddlers department back rooms oh this is the uh, elevator elevator so that's the elevator right there and yeah that's basically it that's the entire entire mall and in the order that I built it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so thank you for watching the video. If you made it this far, like I said, be sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe to your boy. And uh, yeah, there's um, a mall on its way. A mall on its way. It's going to be a lot better than this one. That's for sure. It's going to be a lot better. But uh, this one's great. This was great. This is one of the first ones I've ever did. and It's cool. little part of history. Part of where I'm from. And all that stuff. So uh, thanks for watching as always. And peace out.